founded in 2003 the Digital Biology Laboratory located at the Christopher Bond Life Science Center on the University of Missouri's campus focuses on bioinformatics and computational biology. It is a powerhouse of research with expenditures of half a million dollars per year and more than one publication per month on average. The lab's research has been funded by many sources. The field of biomedics and computational biology is becoming more and more important. This is because biology and medicine today are getting more and more quantitative with huge and complex data, which are very challenging to handle. To address this challenge, our lab develops many novel computational methods. We also apply computational technologies to solve various biological and medical problems. For technology development, we develop algorithms, software tools, and computational resources for biomedical research. This development often integrates various methods in computer science, statistics, mathematics, and biology in an interdisciplinary fashion. While these developments are often challenging, they are also enjoyable to work on intellectually. The lab builds computational infrastructure to conduct genomic studies using next-generation sequencing technology. The open-source software PrimeGenes is developed at the lab for high-throughput design of various types of primers and probes. The system has been widely used in the research community. Another project is computational analysis and prediction of protein modification. The lab builds databases and websites to host protein modification data. The lab also develops software tools to predict modification sites in proteins. Work is being completed on protein structure prediction at the lab. Researchers developed a completely new framework for structure prediction and integrated a set of novel methods into the software package MUFOLD. Bioinformatics can be applied to many uh, biological and medical problems. Uh, in our lab, we actually address many biomedical applications related to personalized medicine, cancer studies, drug development, bioenergy, microbial community studies, and crop improvement. Soybean Knowledge Base, or SoyKB, developed by the lab, is a one-stop shop web resource for the analyses and presentation of massive soybean genomics data. Another research topic is the study of Helicobacter pylori, which is associated with ulcers and gastric cancer. The lab developed a systematic method to predict cancer biomarker for clinical diagnoses. The lab designs experiments and analyzes data for studying DNA methylation, which plays an important role in cancer initiation and development. A virtual physical examination system is being developed for Cerner, a leading healthcare IT company. The system provides a web-based simulation platform for training and teaching at medical schools and hospitals. In addition to research, Digital Biology Laboratory has a mission to train next generation researchers in bioinformatics and computational biology. At the research lab in the university, I strongly believe that both research and education are highly important to us. So the production of the lab is not only publications and software, but also well prepared researchers to address future R&D issues. The lab is a great place for graduate students like me who are interested in both computer science and biology. Uh, during the past several years, I have been involved in many uh, interesting and challenging uh, bioinformatics projects. Um, thanks to that, my PhD study at Mizu has been a fun and rewarding experience of not only the learning but also making contributions to the scientific research community. Uh, this experience uh, of study and research may make me more confident and um, better prepared for future career in bioinformatics research after, after my graduation.
My undergraduate research experience in the Digital Biology Laboratory has been an incredible learning opportunity. In putting the tools I learned in the classroom to real world use, I've solidified my understanding of the concepts and discovered countless new ones. I've grown more in my research than I ever would have imagined, and it's an opportunity I am very happy to have had. Undergraduate research, especially in our laboratory, is an opportunity I would suggest to any undergraduate student. There is an interactive, stimulating, and friendly academic environment at the lab. There are weekly group meetings where lab members present their research. Many of the studies involve collaboration with others. The lab has more than a dozen active collaborating groups and hosts many visitors and interns. For example, the lab has a close collaboration with Jilin University in China. Han Wang and Lu Pu Wang are visiting scholars from Jilin University. We have an extremely friendly and social atmosphere at the lab. Uh, we organize many group activities, including group picnics in summer and spring semesters, uh, monthly group potluck lunches, where everyone in the group is uh, encouraged to try their best in culinary skills, and uh, many parties at Dong's house. Uh, all the activities involve group members along with their families and friends, and gives everybody an opportunity to interact in uh, environments other than the research environment. We had a lot of good time during the past eight years. We look forward to having more fun in research and working with new members coming to the lab. For more information about the Digital Biology Lab, you can visit the lab website at digbio.missouri.edu.